angels we have heard on high sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in Welcome back. We are here for another week of Our Kids Online. My name is Allie. I'm Katie, and let's hop right into it. Okay. Let's go. It Have is all been like enjoying right before, December. Yeah, I was going to say, we're like right before Christmas. This whole mm -hmm. month has been Christmas. Yes. We're just ready. It's so so exciting. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. So fun. These lessons <laughs> have been so good. Mm -hmm. I love all the sweaters. It's my favorite part. Do you have ugly Christmas sweaters that you like to wear? I have like, or just like two, normal and I just wear them. But sweaters in general oh, is sweaters. more of the thing. Like I'll wear sweaters in summer too. Do you really? Yeah, the whole thing. I cannot do that. Oh, 
See, I like it. <laughs> I'm always cold though. So Although I do love different. like a good cozy blanket and some hot chocolate. Have y'all been drinking your hot chocolate? Yes, this hopefully morning? you have. So good. Speaking of Christmas, Christmas. Our Christmas Eve service yes. is happening. It'll be in it in person mm -hmm. at our Frederick and Gaithersburg campuses. More information at our yes. website or on the screen. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one. <laughs> um, but we hope you guys can make it out. Bring your families. Yes. Um, it's going to be a really fun service um, yeah. to all it sit together and hang out. Service. Yeah. So you'll be sitting with your parents, mm -hmm. but you will not be bored. It's going to be a really good um, Christmas Eve. Yeah. So I'm hopefully we'll see you guys there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And um, next week is Christmas Day. What? We're so excited. Saturday is Christmas. And so we are online only next weekend, December 25th and 26th. So make sure you tune in. Your parents can watch online. You can watch online. Our kids online here. And um, it's gonna be a really fun <clears throat> service. It is. We're gonna, gonna, gonna do fun, fun service, stuff. So. As always, we <laughs> yeah. have to have fun. <laughs> And then we'll be back in person the first weekend of January. So lots of exciting things coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's we're going to hop right into in. today and see what we're going to learn about. <laughs> Continuing our Joy to the World series. Yes. Oh, it's the third weekend, right? It's our third weekend. Okay. Yep. yep. So okay. I wonder, you know, what the story's going to be about today. I don't know. I have no idea. All right. We'll see. Let's, let's pray. Okay. <laughs> no, let's pray first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll pray for it. Okay. <laughs> Dear God, um, thank you so much for bringing us all back together this weekend um, to hear more about you. We just pray that our ears will be open for everything you want to teach us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hi, kids. Let's learn our memory verse for our series, Joy to the World. This time it comes from Luke chapter 2, verse 14. And it goes like this. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace on those whom his favor rests. A little tough. Okay, let's do it together. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace on whom his favor rests. Okay, let's see if we can do that together. Again, that's Luke chapter 2, verse 14. And it goes like this. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace on whom his favor rests. Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Good job. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Pro TV! Hey kiddos, it's so great to see your little angel faces. Aren't y'all excited for Christmas? I can't, I can't even describe how excited I am. Now don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. Besides National Nacho Day, it's probably my favorite holiday ever. But when it comes to holidays, it can be one of the most stressful times of the year. 
I mean, think about all the things you have to do on Christmas. You gotta clean the house, make a ton of food, buy presents, wrap those presents, then go back to the store because you forgot your cousin Keith is visiting from Milwaukee. Write thank you notes, shovel snow, eat the shovel snow. You know, it's just so much. And you know, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. It's just all so crazy. I just, I just feel like I need to take a deep breath. It's just getting my head all fuzzy. It's cute, it's fuzzy. Um, Carl? Hello? Carl, are you there? Oh, hi kids! Have you seen Carl? I was supposed to meet him here and I don't see him anywhere. I have a gift for him. Gift? Linda? Linda! Hi y'all, it's my friend Linda! Carl, you scared me. What happened? Where were you? Oh me? I was just uh, down there. On the floor? Why? Well, to be honest, I think I'm getting a little stressed out. Really? Why? Well, it's just a lot. What is? Christmas! There's just so much to focus on. It's making me a little flustered. Flustered? Yeah, flustered. Like a duck at a supermarket. Well, I don't know about that, but I bet I have something that can help you become unflustered. You have ice cream? <laughs> no, but I do have a gift for you. Look down. What? <gasps> Beef jerky? How'd you know I used this as a deodorant? Um, I didn't. I just knew you liked it. <laughs> anyway, did that gift make you feel better, Carl? It sure did. It's like the stress just all faded away. <laughs> the power of jerky. <laughs> well, I'm glad because that's what Christmas is all about. Wait, Christmas is all about beef jerky? I knew it. No, oh, that's not what I meant. You see, we were all given a gift a long time ago that brought the whole world something very special. All right, Linda, tell me what we're talking about. Well, for the past couple of weeks, we've talked about everything that's been leading up to the birth of who? Jesus, of course. That's so exciting. It really is. So Joseph and Mary were heading to Bethlehem and they tried to get a room at an inn. Is an inn kind of like an old motel? Exactly. But guess what? The inn had no more rooms and Mary was about to give birth to Jesus. Oh no. So what'd they do? The person in charge of the inn told them that they can stay in the cave-like space below the inn. It wasn't quite a room, but it was something, I guess. Isn't that like where they kept all the animals and stuff? It is. The animals needed shelter from the cold at night, so they would be gathered up there sometimes. It wasn't an ideal space for a family, especially a mother who was about to have a baby, but Mary and Joseph didn't have anywhere else to go, and something amazing was about to happen. <laughs> wow, I bet you they're pretty nervous to be in a messy situation like that. Man, cold too. Too bad they didn't have any family or friends to talk to. Well, believe it or not, just nearby, there were a few shepherds in a field taking care of their flock. Oh cool, so they saw Joseph and Mary? Even better, an angel appeared to them and they were told not to be afraid because the angel had come to give them good news. <laughs> I love good news. Me too. The angel told them that the savior had been born and that they can find him nearby in the manger. Then they said something that was truly good news. You can read about it in Luke chapter two, verse 14. They said, glory to God in the highest and on earth, Peace to those on whom his favor rests. Wow, that is amazing. What a gift. What do you mean, gift? I mean, listen to them. I mean, they're praising God and telling them that God's peace is going to be with them. What a gift. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Carl. Wow, this really helps me understand that Christmas is just so much more than gifts. More than cleaning and food. Man, family. It's about knowing that God sent Jesus to be our savior and giver of peace. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Life can certainly get busy and stressful, but when we remember why Jesus came for us, life can feel like something we can manage. And then we can start to feel peace. Now, just like your gift made me feel better, I feel like the peace that Jesus has given me has made me feel even better. Like. True joy. Man, I wish everyone could feel like this. That 
That's the cool thing, Carl. They can. Everyone can feel just how you're feeling now. Mm, really? How? Well, once people begin to understand who Jesus is and why he came, then people all over the world will receive the same joy. All over the world? Of course. I mean, the gift Jesus gives is free to everyone. To you, to me, to people who live in Europe, Asia, Africa, all the Americas, and even Antarctica, Carl. Wow, I never thought about that before. I'm just so glad that Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Well, you heard it from Carl. Our big idea for today is Jesus came to bring peace to the world. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Woo! Great job, kids. I hope you all had as much fun learning about the birth of Jesus as I did. Merry Christmas, everyone. Or as we Koreans might say, Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of The angels in Luke 2 proclaimed peace on all those who God's favor is on. But who are those people? They are all of us who have chosen to put our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We can receive God's peace and favor by doing what it says in Romans 10 verse 9. It says that if we will believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross for our sins and that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. So if you are ready to say yes to Jesus, you may repeat a prayer after me in a few seconds. If you've already prayed the prayer, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to do it again. You are already saved. But if you have never prayed that prayer before, repeat after me and mean it with your whole heart. Ready? Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that I have done many wrong things Please forgive me for all my sins. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that God raised you from the dead and that you are alive today. Please come into my life today. I put my trust in you today as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good job. If you prayed that prayer with me, you have made the best decision you'll ever make in your life. Your future is now sure. You are a child of God. We are so proud of you, and we're excited for you too. Now, there are two things you'll need to do. One, tell your parent or another trusted adult that you've prayed to start a relationship with Jesus. Two, we want to celebrate with you and send you a little gift. So, let us know you prayed by texting the word KID, K-I-D, to 240-269-2100. Welcome to God's family. Hey guys, we're back and we just heard an incredible teaching from the Bible, as yes. always. It was the story of Jesus' birth. What? We knew it was coming. Yeah. But it, you know what? It came before I thought it would. Yes, it I did. thought it would be like next week and they'd mm -hmm. talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Which doesn't that make you wonder what we're going to learn about next week? It does. Yeah, because it's like, then what? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, Jesus did have a full 33 years. Of That's true. Life on earth. That's very true. <laughs> we'll just go through the next, like, you know, 32 years. Okay. You know, next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but today we did hear about Jesus' birth, and um, I'm going to go ahead and open my Grow app. 
And our big idea today was Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Cool. Man. That's really good. He did come to bring peace to the world, yeah. which is such a cool mission. So, Katie, let me ask you a question here. Um, what can you do? <laughs> what can you guys do to help bring more peace to the world around you? Oh, my goodness. That is a yeah. really good one. It's a good question, right? Yeah. I think that, like... God always gives us opportunity to like do that to people around us like oh I'm going they'll like come up to you and say like oh, I'm going through this or this is happening and by you helping you know turn them towards God and praying for them like those are ways that you can help yeah. bring that peace it's just by helping the people around you right that show yeah. up in your life so true. yeah I think just praying for people just pointing them towards God um, when they're going through a hard time that brings peace you yeah. know or even when like maybe you're at school and someone is being very unkind towards you or maybe towards someone else or you know when one of our coworkers or whatever someone's struggling you can either make that situation worse or you can make it better by bringing peace and choosing to have a reaction that would glorify God yeah. and to help settle things. Yeah, and not like adding to the craziness. Right. So whether they're sad or someone's angry or whatever it is, mm -hmm. that you're bringing peace to that, to that situation. So good. Can we do this one? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So good, hopefully, you, yeah, you guys can do that this week, <laughs> especially because, you know, it's Christmas week, so yeah. you want to be and able to. And you know, to... there's lots of, can be a lot of, you know, people crazy right now this yeah. time of year who are trying to get all their shopping done and all of that. So bring some peace to the chaos this week. Yes. You can do it. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to do our game now. Um, well, actually, okay. No more water games? <laughs> no. <Thank God. laughs> Allie is actually going to play a game. Oh, I'm going to play. Okay. Yeah, you're going to play a game because I was the one who put their bells in these boxes. Ooh, jingle bells? Mm-hmm. So I put them in the boxes so I know how many I put in. Okay. But you're going to have a minute. Um, I'll Ooh. start a timer for okay. you. You're going to have a minute to try to get them in the correct order from least amount of bells to most bells in the boxes. Least so, to most. Right? Yeah, and you can do it, you know, least can be on this side and okay. most, or either way, whatever okay. you want to. Okay. Um, you get to pick. But, yeah, I think a minute's enough for you to shake them I, off. I think so. Okay, how about, I? no, you know what, I'm not going to time you. I'm oh. just going to let you get them into the order you think it is. All just right. by shaking them and trying to hear. Okay, so All you ready? Right. All, right, All right, go ahead, Allie. The jingle ball shake. Okay. Oh, man, that sounds like, it kind of sounds like a lot. Oh, I don't think that's quite as many. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Like okay, so you're doing least on this side yeah, to most. Yeah, because I think that will make sense for them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's even less. Yeah, 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 like this. Okay. She's really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do this, this way. Okay. I can't really tell between these two. Oh. Are they weighted differently? Nope. <laughs> yeah, the bells are light. Think? I think maybe. I think maybe this way. Okay. All right. Let's you see. confident? No, but okay. that's all right. We're gonna go. But for you're it. good with your choices. Yeah. Okay. Least to most. So you can um, you maybe to open can this open one them? first. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. And it says on the top of the list five. Five. That's yep. A so low that number. is the least. Yeah. Okay. So she got that one right. All right. Next one. Five. Twenty. Uh -oh. Twenty. That's a that big hop. That was a hop. big jump. It's a big hop. I okay. don't know. Uh oh. I'm nervous. Oh, oh no. no! You had them right the first time. Shoot, I shouldn't have stuck So twenties here and tens here. They should oh, be man. switched. I did not win. So let's see. But you got this oh, one. 30. Yeah, wow. you got this one. I so got you got one. two right. Two right. Yeah. Here they are. Wow. That's a fun game. I like this game. You can do it with like a million boxes. You should do it like at home. Get as many boxes as you can find and just do like 20 boxes and try to get them in the right order. That's true. You can Sounds actually right. do this after you open Christmas presents and then you yeah, have all the empty boxes. Yeah, that's smart. And you could use like beans, like dry beans, if you don't have jingle bells. <gasps> yes, yes, right? like that. Mm -hmm. Something else, got yeah, yeah. Good wow. job, Allie. Thank you. You did a good job. I made job. some music and yeah. I did not win, but that's okay. <laughs>
as close. You guys can Shouldn't try this at home. Um, we hope to see you at Christmas, our Christmas Eve, yes. service. Christmas Eve service. And then we'll see you online next weekend for yeah. another Our Kids Online. And then we'll see you in person for the new year. Yes, crazy. so exciting. Yeah. All yeah, right, guys. Crazy. <laughs> we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.